Hey everyone, Russ Ride here and welcome back to the channel. As you may know on the Russ Ride channel, I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to improve your earnings and ratings for food delivery companies such as Uber Eats, Postmates, and DoorDash. Today I am out in the valley doing a ride along. It's a hot day here in Southern California. My car says it's 111 degrees, and believe me, I feel it when I go outside. So I've started off. Then turn left on the clarinet. Uh, Panda, I'll take that one. There's a $613, 613 Panda order. Make a right turn. Uh oh. I missed it. All right, I gotta. Uh, I gotta pay attention here. I'm gonna miss my drop off. Welcome back. I had a quick delivery. I just finished my third order, and I'm headed to pick up the fourth at a Panda Express. It's been quite warm today, and delivery started off pretty slow, but now they've been back to back. And overall, it's been pretty easy although it is very hot. So stick around and I'll update you as I go. Take care. It's been a while since I've had uh, stacked orders, but on Uber Eats, I Turn do left. notice on uh, this Panda Express order, I have two Howard and Kevin. So that's a good chance to get twice the amount of tips. You know, it's a pretty catastic day when it's 108 degrees outside you can deliver food to people. Feet, you will arrive. Awesome. All right this first order is for Howard and I'm dropping it off at a business location he's gonna meet me outside. It'll be interesting when the pay finalizes to see how they're doing the order. If it's uh, Combined with that, whatever it was, six or seven dollars total, did they jam a couple three dollar orders in? Turn right. There's definitely a lot of traffic out today, so I can tell that due to the coronavirus, that people are out and about a little bit more than they were several weeks ago. Hey, Howard, this is Russ. Um, I'm parked out by the ladders. Where are you at? Oh, sorry, I'll put me down right now. Okay. I'll see you in just a second. All right. was great. Got to uh, give Howard his lunch and he was very appreciative. This one's two miles away. Oh wow. Wait in the car. I see a trend here. Everybody wants you to wait in the car. Well, in my haste to decline the $3.30 order, I accidentally, Turn right. I accidentally accepted it. It's a Starbucks order, so that should be okay. We'll be in and out, and I'll get us back to an area where orders can be a little more productive and easy to get around. So far, two people have tipped, and I'm going to head to another area and see if that'll be better for better tips and higher payouts overall. It is still very hot here, and I'm glad my air conditioning works. My car says it's 108 degrees. So if you like some heat, come out to California. One challenge to delivering is when you have apartment complexes that you get to go to, and sometimes it's really hard to find the apartment, such as the last drop-off uh, that I had that Starbucks order for. There were no signs. Uh, she had a 200 series apartment 
and obviously I knew go upstairs, but there were no stairs. So I had to call her and she was able to assist me. But for $3.30 or $3.50, it's not really worth the time to uh, go to Starbucks. Hope you find parking and then hope you find the apartment. So I'm going to consider that for next time. It is always exciting to try out new areas to deliver in, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to have uh, come out here to deliver. But I won't really try to come back. I would say it was a 30% reduction in efficiency and pay by being out here. Well, welcome back. Just going to take a little comfort break with a nice fudge sundae. And we'll get back on the road. Six orders, $49 so far, two have tipped. And I look forward to seeing what other orders that I can get. All right, I'll check back with you later. Bye. Actually, scratch that. As I was taking a bite of this delicious hot fudge sundae, I noticed that I did receive another tip, a $6 tip. So $55, six deliveries, and roughly two and a half hours in. So let's get back out there. All right, headed back out on the road to get that money. Let's uh, hope there's some orders coming. I have noticed that even with the coronavirus, people are still tipping often on Uber. Yesterday, I drove, I think I did about 10 deliveries and everybody tipped, which was awesome. And they were pretty good tips. So even though people are getting back to work, and going out a lot more. They're still ordering online and tipping well. So I'm glad I saw an order for $10 and it said roughly 15 miles and I'm, it's taking me 11, 12 miles to get there. So what I'm estimating is it's gonna be a three mile delivery or less. And Uber did change their pay model in California where they're paying for your total uh, time to get to the restaurant as well. So, I'll see how that works out, and I'll give you an update and let you know. Well, I have very exciting news. Check out this screenshot of Eric's order for the uh, Indian restaurant that I'm headed to now. And there's a lot of items on here. So, what that tells me is there is a great chance for an awesome tip. A massive tip. All right, check this out. One big bag of food and a mango lassi. This is gonna be great, it's all loaded up. And I am ready to get this bag of deliciousness to my customer. All right, let's uh, start the delivery. And it is five miles away, so apparently that was true. It was a 15 mile total for $10, but this should be, uh, should be good. Pasting my custom message, and I am on the way. Let's go. All right, so I am at $70 for seven trips, and that is pretty decent, like $10 a delivery. Since then, two more people have tipped, so this is great. Six out of seven have tipped. And even though it's not much money, it's better than no money. Awesome. So let's get back out there and get some more orders. 395 Shake Shack, it's close. Because I'm gonna keep making money, that's $4. They could tip three or four. All right, got the eighth order, it's Shake Shack. And yeah, it was $3.95, but it's a really short delivery distance. And with a tip, maybe that would be seven, eight dollars. So I do want to make some money. Whee! You've arrived at your destination. That drop off went pretty smoothly. I'm going to do my last order for the evening before I have to get going. So far, Many have tipped, and that's good news. I'll follow up with you later to give you a total, and I'll check back with you in a bit. I just wanted to share that I am out there getting that money, 
working hard and looking forward to that due reward in customer ratings and customer tips. Thank you. I'm at $78 and two people have yet to tip. I need to get to 100. I need $100. $100. Absolutely need $100. All right, one more. I'm going to give it a try one more. All right, this last sushi order, it's only five minutes away, and let's hope for a big tip out of that one. All right, last drop-off. I'm headed in with the sushi and looking forward to that tip. All right, let's see this breakdown. It's 101. Obviously, I just dropped off an order. And I want to see where that 101 came from. Interesting. So 849 and oh, no way. Whoa. Whoa. The third delivery back. Okay, so they gave a $23.16 tip. What? Wow. That is amazing. I think that was the hotel delivery. That is phenomenal. How awesome. A $33 delivery order? Wow. Wow. All right, so we have the potential for two more people to tip. This last one was a $10 delivery. We're looking at $111 for 10 trips. Hello, everyone. It's the end of the day, and I've had a successful day doing food deliveries. I only did it in the afternoon, and uh, I had a total of 10 deliveries all on Uber Eats everybody tipped and good news you know that last sushi order $18 tip so a total delivery fee is $28 how awesome I definitely encourage you get on uber eats everybody is tipping well and it's a lot of fun so please share in the comments below what you thought of my ride along today and until I see you in my next video take care stay safe stay healthy and drive carefully all right have a good day bye